said, y'all just giving all that, that church is just taking all your money. Go ahead, she said, we may have been, we may have given our mortgage payment at times. We might have given this and given that. But she said, we've never received one foreclosure. Yeah. Hallelujah. We are happily married. How many years? 39. 39. 39. Yeah. They are a blessing yes, to All of us. everybody Amen. Yes. that they come in contact with. Amen. Their neighbors. And to top it all off, they got yard of the month. And now you're yard of the month. <laughs> Not only spiritually, but even in the in their abode. Yes. Bless, bless, bless. Amen. They will come to us for prayer. And then, and then the son, the son, Ray Ray Jr. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, Ray, Ray. <laughs> what had happened? He's called them, Doctor, I think I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to go to work and apply to go to work in Florida. And they offered me like, and I said, are you, are, you, are you calling to try to convince me to agree with what you decided? Or are you calling for counsel? And he said, no, sir. You just tell, he said, I want you to tell me what the Holy Spirit tells you. And I said, okay, this is what the Holy Spirit is saying. While you might be thinking this is the answer to try to manipulate and get back together and da 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 all this all this stuff that we see from a certain perspective and God sees the bird's eye He sees everything. Yes. And I said I said slow down I said blah 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 I told him exactly what Holy Spirit told me to tell him He obeyed it. Amen. And I was so blessed when I saw that posting on Facebook. Where he gave glory to God and said, "I have a man of God." The agreement said, "Hallelujah." I don't, I don't need accolades, but it's nice when somebody actually talks about Dr. Thomas and not Pastor Joel Osteen. Be <laughs> not your pastor. <laughs> and not, not out of envy or jealousy, but just it, it's rewarding to see that the word. Is not falling on deaf ears. He said, no, doctor. He said, I'm not going to be like those who say, yeah, doctor, tell me, tell me what to do, but don't know what to do. <laughs> he said, I won't be like those who say, yes, doctor, you gave me the instruction, and then they send you a postcard from where they move. <laughs> you have to go higher. You have to do more. What was the instruction, Mary? To, to stay put, don't, don't panic. See, we, we tend to panic. And one of the things that the Lord, that we all have to learn is how to be still. Be still. Amen. Amen. Be still and know that I am. Amen. Amen. And then the second instruction was give an uncommon seed. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And he came in. He said, here's my uncommon. I've never given this amount before. Hallelujah. And this week you'll be closing on a brand spanking. Amen. Beautiful house. Brand new house. Hallelujah. I just, I just want this, these next 52 days leading into the next 52 weeks. That it is a year that, hear what I'm going to say, people are going to look at your, your life, and just like with Nehemiah, they will say, surely her God, his God, did this. Yes. Amen. There's no way in the natural. Amen. There's no way in the natural. Every time I look at our little Aaliyah, I am reminded 
And it is not anything Mayor Jeremy did or any of us did. It is what God did. No question about it. Hallelujah. And then that baby looks like them. Amen. She looks like her daddy. She really does, boy. Go and help her, Lord. <laughs> Church, I, I, please don't, don't take lightly or for granted the great things that God is doing and has done in our midst. Amen. Blessed with homes and and thousand dollars coming in out of nowhere, Amen. baby. All these things. That, I wish I lived in the days of Jesus with <laughs> miracles. We all get miracles. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord raises up the standard. This will be known as the year where Yahweh's salvation Amen. shall be seen. Amen. 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 It will be a definite testimony yes. of what a great God He is. Because when you come into agreement with His Word, you become His will. Hallelujah. You, yes. not hoping, you're not faithing, you're, you are His will. You walk in His will. You walk in His Spirit. You walk in His, in, in his thoughts. Eye has not seen, nor ear heard, nor has it entered the, to the heart of man the things that God has in store. But the Spirit revealeth these things. Yes, amen. Amen. We're seeing the signs and the wonders amen. in the heavens all over the world. Amen. We have been given a weapon through the Word of God. To Amen. speak to any sickness, to any disease, to any lack, to any debt, to any situation, and to speak and say, cease and desist. Yes. Amen. Amen. Cease and desist. Amen. A demand letter Amen. Yes. is an order that a party halt and activity. Hallelujah. Stop. And not take it up again later. Amen. Or else face legal action. Mm. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. As I was looking for some confirmation with this 52, number 52 in the 52 days, and, and I was looking through one of my books that I um, about number of scripture and the gematria of, of the, the Word of God. And, and uh, there was really no, no great significance in the number 52. And then the words, the Holy Spirit said, add five and two. And of course, you know, I said, oh, well, the perfect number, seven. God's perfect number. But I was, I was amazed as I read. And it says, um, on the seventh day, God created, excuse me, God rested from the work of creation. It was full and complete and good and perfect. Nothing could be added to it or taken from it without marring it. Hence the word Shabbat. And listen, listen, listen to what the word Shabbat means. To cease, desist, rest, to Sabbath, Shabbat. Amen. Cease and desist. Hallelujah. But it doesn't just mean, listen, did you hear what it said? It means the letter of infringement to the attack or attackers. Amen. But for me, quit worrying about it. Amen. Amen. Quit worrying about it. 
Hallelujah. To Shabbat, a day of rest. Shabbat, to cease, desist, rest, and Shabbat, or day of rest. Yeshua took three days to raise the temple, and then he's got 52 days. Seven times seven equals 49, plus three days to rise mm -hmm. equals 52 days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The numbers don't lie. Amen. Two plus two is going to be four all day long. Amen. <laughs> I had to, I had to, I, I did that with, with the seven, I was like, Trina did seven, right? I was like, not because I can't add, but, no, but because it was just so, Sometimes it's right there, and God just just says, "Just take a step back." Come on! Chill out. Oh wow! Talk to these issues in your family, Amen. in your household. Amen. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't know how. God has caused my situation with my house to go for so many years, not weeks, days, years. And the attorney is about to put a letter of infringement in the mail. Cease and desist. Hallelujah. Glory. And I just keep thinking. See, you got you, you got to, you got to go higher. Amen. For me to go higher, because I've sowed a five thousand dollars seed, five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars seeds. I've sold forty thousand dollar cars, seventy thousand dollar cars, twenty thousand dollar cars, thirty thousand. I've sold all these things. I've emptied out my account. I've, I've given every uncommon seed that I can Amen. think of. I've taken the risk, I've taken the gamble, I've taken the leap of faith. So I'm not at all, it won't be at all shocked if some way, somehow, and I've said it publicly, that God will somehow cause my house to just, I, I just, on, I just keep thinking, I'm, I'm going to go to the mailbox and yeah. instead yeah. of attorney's letters, I'm going to get yeah. a title. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. I believe it, Doc. I'm in agreement. Anything is possible. If I get the money, yeah, but that that's not gonna happen, Doc, because that's just she needs you should own. Come on. Anything is possible. One person could walk through those doors and write a check. Right. If a man can right. come in that you don't even know, but just Amen. by a business acquaintance can come in and give you a thousand dollar check. <laughs> just last month, I got a, there was some kind of class action lawsuit. I got a $3,500 check. Amen. I wasn't expecting it. It was years ago when I filled out all this stuff. Years. Not $35 check. Three thousand five hundred. Hallelujah. Glory. Anything can happen. No. No. Anything. Anything. Hallelujah. Yes. I just have to say this. Um, don't be afraid and don't condemn yourself if you make mistakes. 
okay, in waiting for God to act. I didn't expect this gift. And it was just a total surprise. I took it upon this hand, or this hand, I took it upon this hand to apply for the loan online. It wouldn't go through. I tried twice. Hallelujah. I thought, I'll get ahead and I'll do it online and then I'll call the loan officer and see what I need or, you know, whatever. So I was doing it by the arm of the flesh, okay? I applied for the loan twice. Twice, something about my computer would not let me. Hallelujah. Would not let the, the loan go through. It would not submit it. And I just said, I'll just do it later. I, I, I was busy. I was like, I'll do it later. I'm not going to worry about it. The next day is when the gentleman came in and gave me the money. So I felt stupid, you know, that I had not gone to my father and said, Father, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I know that you're going to get me through the month of July. And, you know, I felt kind of dumb, you know, because I had to trust him to go with him first. I tried with my hand, and he goes, baby, don't do that. He would, I could imagine him going, what are you doing? I've already taken care of this. What, the, what in the world are you doing? So don't be afraid and don't feel condemned. If you've already done something by the arm of the flesh to try and rectify or correct your situation, just go ahead and let it go and let God show you what he Now, if he gives you an instruction, don't disobey. If he gives you an instruction, do it. I didn't get that instruction from the Lord. The Lord did not tell me, go and get a loan. In my mind, I reasoned, I don't, I don't need to go to anybody. I don't need to ask the doctor to pray for me. I don't need to go to the Lord and say, help. You know, I can, I can do this. Okay, so just don't feel condemnation, but please trust in the Lord first. I'm telling you from experience. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His 